regular and boat cut are all one great price at just $60. There's popular Grand Slam polo shirts in a range of colours and styles, perfect for the warmer weather, all reduced to clear on the racks out front at only $20 each, normally $39.95. For the latest in spring fashions, it's Sir Hans Menswear, open seven days, the Levi Centre of the Hunter Valley, Bridge Street, Musselbrook. As you know, Eaton's Hotel in Bridge Street, Musselbrook is under extensive renovation, but it's still business as usual with a friendly atmosphere and down-to-earth service. Your host, Tom Cowling, and staff invite you to sample all the popular beers on tap, icy, chilled and waiting for you. If you fancy a bit of a flutter, there's a TAB facility available, so whether they're racing in Musselbrook or Flemington, you'll be able to back a winner. Everyone's welcome at Eaton's Hotel, and they'd like to wish all the Musselbrook teams participating in today's Grand Finals the best of luck. Eaton's Hotel, Bridge Street, Musselbrook. Musselbrook. This is the 2M 2E's Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath and the team. Both, both sides out on the field. Both sides out on the field here at Scone Park, and uh, they both look ready for the fray. We better run through the teams. So I know we've heard the late changes. We'll go to uh, Scone first and John Satori. Actually, um, I've Oh, I, haven't got, I haven't gotten in front of me now, McGee. Okay, well, just tell us who's going to win today. All right, mate, I think it will, um, an upset, I'll go for Singleton, I think. Righto, uh, we'll look to Benko to give us the, the scone side. Yes, McGee, the full-back's Mal Everly, the wingers are Gary Sutton and Steve Adams. The National Wasps, the National Anthem, plays in the background. Just keep going, Brad Adams can't and, stand up. Yes, Brad Adams and Daryl Rando are the centres, and he's the captain, Coach Daryl Rando. Andrew Brown and David Madden, the halves. Brett Horn, Anthony Edmonds and Adam Frost are the back rowers. Mick Reynolds, Rossi Duggan and Scott Pennell form the front row. Only two play new players in there from last year's grand final, uh, Brad Adams and Anthony Edmonds. Who are you going for, Benko? Mate, I'm going to go for a scan victory. I think Singleton played the grand final last week, but I've put the mocker on just about everyone today. All right, Singleton team, and we'll go to very quickly from Steve uh, Goodwin. Yes, for Singleton today, at fullback is Mark Newman. The wingers are Paul King and Simon Frost. The centre is Steve Richards and Sean Tyndale. Julian Bailey's the 5'8", Steve Howard the half. The front rows are Jamie Griffiths and Gary Garden, the captain coach. The hooker is Steve Watham. Second row is Warren George and Jason Matthews, while Peter Sharp will scrum, lock in the scrum at lock, and on tipping scone. And you're tipping scone, right? Who are you tipping, David White? I'm on scone, but I rate Singleton a big chance today because I thought their performance last week against Aberdeen was nothing thought of sensational. You're doing a bingo, Whitey. You've sat on the fence. I'm, I'm going on for scone, scone, mate, but don't I'm expect... If there's an upset, don't be surprised. I'm going for Scone uh, because uh, they have uh, really got a very good and well-skilled side and well-drilled. And I think uh, they might have come through without any worry or injury worries in their side. Um, just, uh, I mentioned that uh, there's only two new players in the, in the Scone lineup uh, from last year's grand final. Singleton's last grand final was 1990. And if uh, you fellows might argue with me here, I don't know, but I think Gary Gardner... Steve Richards, Steve Watham and Mark Newman might be the only survivors. You're right, you're spot on, McGoo, and it just gets back to what Steve was saying in his uh, talk or preview when uh, he went over to visit the Singleton camp. Steve Howard and Mark Newman were doing all the talking. They're the experienced guys, along with Steve Richards in this, uh, and Stevie, Stevie Watham in the Singleton side, and they'll be looking to those guys to uh, pull out the big players at the right moment. And uh, when Gary Garner was missing, Steve, and ha Steve Howard and Mark Newman will take the fold. Right, and uh, we, we still have the uh, anthem going, and uh, we're just about to come to the end of that. I don't know whether there's much more we can say at this stage, except what I'd like to do is send a cheerio to Jim O'Hare uh, down at Musselbrook, great league man, and uh, has put his body on the line for rugby league over many years. And he's tipping Singleton today, uh, uh, Jim O'Hare, so there you go. And I'd say uh, down at Maitland, uh, Donnie and Faye McKenzie, doing the babysitting for Kay today. And uh, young Jamie, you're down there. I'm going to miss your cuddle at the end of the game today, Jamie. Uh, by the way, just so you don't jump up and down there, Jamie's only about three or four years old, mate. <laughs> well uh, done. There you go, you got something. Yeah, that anthem there, Magoo, went longer than Stairway to Heaven, Fair Dink. Uh, I couldn't believe it, but uh, anyway, it's uh, we showed, the, the crowd showed a mark of respect to uh, the national anthem and good on them. But, uh, this is going to be one hell of a game here today, Magoo. And if Singleton, I just wanted to say quickly, if Singleton can keep that intensity enthusiasm as they showed last week, Scone's got one hell of a game on their hands. But uh, in saying that, I still am tipping a Scone victory. Steve Richards going to kick off. The wind could be a factor. It's going straight across the field. It's not going to favour either way. Uh, likely to drop it uh, towards sundown. But Steve Richards puts a low one straight down towards the centre of the play. It's going to be picked up by Sutton. He'll get it away to Big Pennell. Pennell makes uh, a good run. 
He's well tackled by uh, Julian Bailey's down. Julian McGillie's Bailey been out. back to Sutton onto Reynolds. Reynolds, they're using the two big fellas to pour their way out of the 22. 25 metres now out from the skein line. Back it comes to Frost, straight as a gun barrel, and up to the 30 he goes with uh, Watham around his ankles, and down he comes. Uh, back to Rando. Rando makes a little weave and a dodge, and he's gone up over the 40 metre line. Nine metres short of the halfway mark now, Rando, playing it back to Duggan. On it goes to Brown on the sixth, and he's kicking. But uh, Newman, perfectly positioned, takes it, and he runs straight into the defence of uh, Pennell. Now King getting it away to uh, Warren George. George, nine metres from halfway, and what is going to go on here? Looks like a punch has been slipped yeah, in. I think, he, I think he grabbed Adam Frost there, Magoo, for a uh, little bit of a swing and arm, but uh, things don't look good for uh, Julian like Bailey. He, looks like he was indicating a punch. Not good. Is he, is he off, is he? Yeah, Glenn Julian, Radom is on. Julian Bailey come off in that first tackle straight on uh, Scotty Pennell. He must have copped a uh, knee when he went down low, and uh, believe you, Scotty Pennell's legs aren't thin. I don't think Adam Frost would have thrown a punch, maybe. but there's Peter Sharp as he runs the ball now, 35 metres out from the skein line. Here's Maidam, uh, who's just come onto the field, and a forward pass. So uh, he was, uh, it was a good position for Singleton too, so scrum to pack down. Yeah. Uh, 35 metres out from the skein line, and it will be David Madden to feed the ball. Yeah, but Singleton, then, Singleton really needed a good set of six here, Magoo, but they coughed it up early. Out it goes to Brown from the scrum. Brown is well tackled by Gary Gardner, who must have been at lock, not uh, prop in that one. Here's Horn, taking his first touch. He's uh, very quickly brought down, five metres short of halfway. Out it goes to Steve Adams, very strong runner, and goes over halfway, five metres into Singleton Territory. So the, the thoroughbred starting to make a bit of an impression as it comes to Madden. Madden, a long one, out to Brown. Brown half, uh, halfway through the gap, but brought down well by, uh, by Steve Watham. A good tackle. Now to Brad Adams. And uh, Brad Adams is pulled down. Nine metres inside the Singleton half. The Singleton defence holding strongly at this stage. Back it comes to Rando. Little chip over the top. Well taken by Tyndale. But he's well taken by Rando in the follow-up tackle. Played back to uh, Newman. On it goes to Simon Frost. He's a very solid young boy, that. And uh, he's made good ground. Back now to Gardner. Gardner gets it back inside to Sharp. Sharp slips it away to uh, Wapham. On it goes to Howard. Howard tries to weave his way through. Big Mick Randall went over the top. That was uh, the big on the little there. Back it comes now to uh, Richards. His first run. And he's gone four metres inside the scone half. So Singleton looking pretty keen at the moment. Out it comes to Gardner. It's uh, been charged down by Madden. This will be six to go for Singleton as Matum picks on the ball. No signal of six to go. Uh, and Matum uh, will play it. Back now to uh, George. Did you see a six to go? To no, I didn't know signal, Magoo. Uh, he just held the hand up and telling him what count it was. And uh, Now yeah, back to Griffith. On. And uh, he's tackled uh, about 32 metres out. They lost a bit of ground in that charge down. But he must obviously have played the six. He looks like Gardner. Like Gardner's pull away. He's out of a tackle. He's over halfway. On it goes to Sharp. Sharp, 39 metres out. That opened them up there as it goes to Howard on the blind side. Howard points. Matum. Matum comes inside. But he's well taken in the tackle by Horn. And will play the ball 28 metres out. Back now to Gardner. Gardner will put the kick up. Well, she's going to come back down hit him on the head, I reckon. And nobody wants it. It's a Mexican standoff. Gardner eventually takes it. Uh, tries to throw the pass, and I think it's Brown that's fallen on it for Scone. Duggan runs from dummy half, hit well in the tackle by Sharp. Peter Sharp started well. Wouldn't mind a check up on Julian Bailey to see what the problem is. I think he got knocked out, Magoo. They probably worried a bit, a bit, bit, a bit of concussion there. He copped a penil knee to the head as he went down to tackle him right. in the opening tackle of the game. He's only 16-year-old, Julian Bailey, and he's become very important this side. Re Re Reynolds in a good run, goes over the halfway mark. And uh, we have a, che a check score from Sydney. What is it, Bingo? Yeah, eight, four in favour of Manly over Cronulla, Magoo. Right, well, we can only have the... Oh, it's Rando. Rando's gone up the right-hand touchline. Oh, Haas. <laughs> and he's stumped to the ground by Newman, but he's got it back to Madden. Madden down. <coughs> 18 metres out from the <coughs> Singleton line. <coughs> Played to Brown. On it goes to uh, Edmonds. M Adams. Adams to Horn. Horn's dragged down the tackle. That's the sixth. 
and Singleton hung on by the hair of that chitty chin. Yeah, there. what a great tackle from Mark Newman on Daryl Rando over there on the far side of the field. Rando was flying down the sideline, McGill, and that tackle had to be made, and what a hell of a shoulder charge it was. But equal to the task was Rando. He bounced off and fed, fed it back to uh, David Madden. Now we've got uh, young Maitam running it off in the second. He's got to the 20-metre mark. So they're pouring themselves back into uh, safer districts. Gardner runs, a good run, out to Griffiths. Griffiths has put it down, knocked it on. It's picked up by Big Pennell, and uh, he's uh, being held up in the tackle. He's not going to go down. Eventually goes down when Warren George two torpedoes him. Now uh, running away from there is Steve Adams again uh, from dummy half. He's made it to 38 metres out from the line. Now Brad Adams up uh, close to the ruck. Uh, tries to take a run. A beautiful diving tackle from Griffith puts him down. Now to Reynolds. The big fella goes straight at uh, Richards. Richards hangs to him, drags him down with the help of uh, his uh, centre partner, Tyndale. Now Duggan takes it the other way to Madden. Madden, a cutout pass out to Brad Adams. Tries to put on the step, but he's bowled over again by Jamie Griffiths. Good tackle. Uh, very defensive, and he had Gardner there with him as well. Now back to Madden. Madden gives it to G Pennell. Pennell, well tackled by Tyndale. They're hitting the big men pretty well at this stage. That's a good start for them in terms of that. Now to Madden. Madden does a kick the other way. This is not a bad kick. Oh, he's and over! And Madden has scored. Well, a single player. It was a, well, a mongrel of a bounce for uh, Mark Newman. And it just popped out of his hands. He tried to dive on it. He was doing it the safe way. And uh, David Madden has struck again. Uh, with him as well, now back to Matt. Matt gives it to Pennell. Pennell, well tackled by Tyndale. They hit the big men pretty well at this stage. That's a good start for them in terms of that. Now to Matt. Matt does a kick the other way. This is not a bad kick. Oh, he's over! Well, a single player. It was a, well, a muckle of a bounce for uh, Mark Newman. And it just popped out of his hands. He tried to dive on it. He was doing it the straight way. And... David Madden has struck again. Scone four leading uh, single kill on the power crowded credit union scoreboard. This is the 2M Tui's Group 21 League Grand Final live from Scone Park with Brian McGrath and the team. Great start to Scone. Great start for Scone and Reynolds has converted 6 0. Great start there, Benko. Certainly was, Magoo. They did everything right there and that uh, little chip through by David Madden. He, I think that was. Uh, he directed it well, McGill. He, it may have looked like it came off the side of the boot, but he aimed straight between uh, the posts from 10 metres to the left of him, and Dale Rando came through after Mark Newman failed to uh, make contact with it, grabbed the ball up and picked it up and uh, dived over under the post. 6-0, uh, a great start for Scone, and that's what Dale Rando wanted. Newman to uh, kick off. Uh, that's a blow for single. Oh, I think uh, Everly's knocked that on. Certainly he has. He certainly has. It'll be a 22. He was behind the try line when he knocked it. So Singleton have a chance to hit back. And I can see uh, young Bailey back on the field. That's good news. So Singleton back to their strength. And it will be uh, uh, Reynolds? No. R who has the ball? Andrew Brown, McGee. Andrew Brown. He's the drop kicker. Well... Single will want a good run from this, a quick pick up of the ball. It might bounce well for George. No, it bounces away from him. He gets it onto uh, Mark Newman. Newman is going to be uh, put down uh, 42 metres out from the try line. So Scone got a good kick in there on a sharp. Sharp makes it uh, three or four metres upfield before he's put to ground by Brown. A dummy here from Watham, a little scamper from him. And uh, he makes another five or six. Probably not enough. Uh, now, now it's gone to... Uh, Warren George, and he's made a very good run, or Jason Matthews, that was. Now it's Howard, on it goes to Bailey. Bailey put down on the 20-metre mark, last tackle for Singleton. And uh, I think they'll put this one in the air. Now Howard's going to run, and on it goes to Tyndale. And Tyndale will be swallowed up in the tackle of Sutton and uh, Brad Adams, and it's uh, a turnover. The yeah, update in Sydney, Magoo, Cronulla 10, Manly 8. Go That's the sad. Sharkies. That's sad. Uh, now we have Frost uh, taking the first uh, run up from the uh, play the ball. He's made it to the 20. Um, now Duggan has a little scamper himself. Makes another three or four metres. Scone uh, just doing it the safe way at the moment. Pennell out to Reynolds. The two big fellas working in tem tandem there, but not a lot of ground made. Although Reynolds is up uh, now to the 29 metre mark. 
Back to Brown for the kick. Doing a lot of kicking today, Brown. And it's a long one for Newman to chase. Right back in, so it's, it's certainly rolled on. Well, you reckon the, the breeze might have turned around a bit from the south, I'd say, Beck over the way that one went. But Newman's uh, made a good fist of running it back. He's almost to the 20, plays it back to King, gets it on to Simon Fox. Oh, big There's tackle. There's a flying tackle from Rando. Uh, he lined him up from well back, McGee. Yeah, that was really uh, intimidating stuff. And there's another tackle before uh, Wotham can pick up the ball from dummy half. That's two gone in no time. Now we've got Warren George making good ground, almost up to the 30-metre mark. Plays it back to Watham. Watham goes himself, pushes Madden off. Can't push Madden off. Madden hangs to him, brings him down 40 he's metres out. He's gone again, Watham. He's into a gap. And uh, over the halfway mark, 39 metres out, but that was a six tackle. Yeah, I don't think he realised it was a six tackle, but he still made 20 good metres, and they're inside the scones, 40. Now it's come out to Mal Everly. He's being held, but he gets it. Uh, plays it back to uh, Duggan. Oh, Duggan goes to halfway, gets it onto uh, Everly. Looked a bit sus the pass. Everly now plays back to uh, Horn. On it goes to uh, the winger in uh, Adams who's come in to do a bit of work and he's only 32 metres out. Here's a go. Penalty to Scone. Yeah, that's a And uh, the Power Credit Union scoreboard says Scone 6 leading Singleton nil in the Tui's grand final. On your mark! Get ready! Let's go! Congratulations! For the 2 m 2 E's coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Well, Mick Reynolds, Mick Reynolds placing, has placed the ball just to the left of the uprights, about exactly 30 metres out. Benko, you had a comment. Yeah, I was going to say, Miguel, that's the first penalty today from uh, any referee in five games so far that uh, for an infringement and player lying on the uh, tackle player, but uh, I think there's, it was justified. He's, He's got, got it. it. Eight uh, points to nil. That's on the Power Credit Union scoreboard. Eight points to nil. Scone leads Singleton. Next time you're filling up or need a snack, stop at the Mobile Roadhouse Greeter. For Mobile Roadhouse is open 24 hours a day, catering for the early riser for breakfast or a late night snack. The Mobile Roadhouse has a varied menu with meals like bacon and eggs, sandwiches, juicy steaks, delicious hamburgers, hot fries, confectionery and hot and cold drinks. No matter what time of the day you need to grab a bite to eat, head to the Mobile Roadhouse on the New England Highway Greeter, where you'll always find great food and friendly service. This is the 2 m 2 E's Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath on the team. Frost tackle just a bit outside the 22. Now it's uh, Pennell's turn, and he, he's brought down uh, 30 metres out. Scone running it out from their own line. Here's Mal Everly in a good run, up to the 40 metre mark. Good tackle, though, from uh, Jason Matthews that time. Back it comes to Brown, onto Rando. Rando hasn't any support outside him, so he puts the boot to it. And it's really kicking on. I think there is a breeze uh, Oh, it's change. turned around, McGee. Benko? It's turned around for sure, McGee. Simon Frost has picked it up just before it run dead and taken it 10 metres out. He had to do it. The scone were coming through. Now Richards takes a little run. Looks OK, Richards. Looks to be playing OK. And now Gardner in the dummy half gets it away. And there's penalty to Singleton. That might be the first time they're broken into the penalty business, is it? Yeah, well, uh, what's the score? 2-1 in favour of Singleton now. The penalties, McGee. Now That's their second. It'll be uh, Mark uh, Newman to find touch. And he does it pretty well. Takes him up to five metres from halfway. And that's where Steve Watham is going to uh, restart the action. We've got another score from Sydney, have we? No, we're just looking at Horn's shoulder, McGee. It looks a bit uh, he's like he's carrying it slightly. Yeah, I think he's got a neck problem, really. Here's Wotham making a dart. He's uh, got 39 metres out from the scone line. Singleton uh, wouldn't mind uh, getting over the old try line at this stage. There's Sharp. He's had a good opening to this game, Peter Sharp. He's 29 metres out from the try line now. Back it comes to uh, Stumpy Howard. Gardner dummies. Now let's go to Tris T Tyndale. Tyndale just can't get away from young Adams. He went underneath him and had uh, Edmonds over the top. And that's another penalty. Yep. Uh, holding the man down in the tackle. Now, Gardner, what does he do? Uh, that's a sh shocking win for him to take a kick. Oh, him. Magoo, that's gone dead in goal, that kick. The tap from the 20 metre line. Gardner didn't even find touch. It went dead in goal. Right, well, they will get the ball back. Gary Gardner elected to kick for touch, Magoo, from uh, 20, no, 30 should, metres out. Shouldn't it be a... Uh, no. I thought it was a dropout when it was a penalty. 
No, well, it was he, a real change to that this year. Well, he went to kick for touch and the, he kicked the ball in dead in goal. So that's a 20 metre tap, according to Peter Shennessy. Well, I thought it was a it was a drop kick, but anyway, all right. Here we go. Out it goes to. Uh, they might have changed the rule, but because I'm old fashioned. But we won't worry about that. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got Scone getting up to the halfway mark here now through uh, Steve Adams, and he's made a uh, had a lot of work to do. Steve Adams is coming in from the wing. Oh, oh there's a pass. Goodness. That Horn. Uh, he thought he was playing soccer. He headed it away, and it's picked up by Gary Gardner. <laughs> I don't think that one was on the. Uh, was on the menu for Singleton. Here's Griffiths running, and uh, he's well tackled by uh, Horn. Five metres inside the scone half. Now out to uh, Jason Matthews. He's played pretty well so far, Matthews. Watham, uh, Howard, out to young Julian Bailey. Shows the ball, but he's well tackled by Brown, his opposite number, and put to ground. 33 metres out. Back it comes to Gardner. Gardner trying to set something away. Pops the ball over to Tyndale. Tyndale can be a very dangerous player. He's trying to get around uh, young Adams, but uh, Brad Adams puts him to ground. And back it comes to uh, uh, Matthews again. Matthews put down on the 20-metre mark. Will they try the bomb this time? No, they're going to run it. Gardner, Gardner uh, dummies. He's still going, slips the pass. Oh, it's gone done. nowhere. It's gone to Anthony Edmonds. That's what it's gone. He's bolted over the halfway mark. The Tyndale's bearing down here. Richards gets to him, and Richards will put him to ground. <laughs> Only 30 metres out from the uh, single line. That's how that one ended up. And back it comes to uh, Sutton. Sutton hasn't got any support, so he goes himself. Pulled down 22 metres out by Tyndale. Rando in the dummy half. On it goes to Madden. On to Brad Adams. Brad Adams. Adams is going to be tackled on the 20 metre mark as well. Uh, with uh, Peter Sharp underneath him. Reynolds gets it away to uh, Duggan. Duggan tries to skate through, but he's pulled down 12 metres from the try line. They scone on the attack again. Madden. Madden throws it into Frost. Frost runs hard and straight, but Matthews goes under him, and that's the fifth tackle. One to go. Well, what will Madden do this time? Will it be another little grubber? You can bet your life it is. It's bouncing around, that's but this time we'll go over the dead ball line. It's a bit heavy, that ball by Madden, Magoo, but uh, yes, what a great run from Anthony Edmonds there. T 20 metres out from his own line. It was a question mark on it whether he was onside or offside. Not... Uh, not so. He made the ground, and this is where uh, Singleton are oh, exactly where Scone want them at the moment. Big defensive uh, set of six here for Scone to keep Singleton inside their half. Yeah, I thought his offside was all right. But, uh, Steve Watham going to tap to start the play. It's gone on to Sharp. Sharp uh, makes uh, a good eight metres there, almost nine, you could say. Watham now getting it away to, to uh, Gardner. Gardner put it away to Griffiths. Griffiths into space too. Takes it five metres inside the Scone half. This game opening up a bit, and uh, he deserved a smack in the mouth there, the way he's been uh, with the ball. With that. The touch uh, should have uh, stayed where he right, was, McGill. Gri Griffiths has given him, uh, given uh, Adams, uh, uh, Madden, I should say, a smack. Yeah. Because Madden was trying to pull the ball out of his arm when he's playing the ball. I think Jamie Griffiths more or less just uh, swung his arm to uh, make sure David Madden let him go. And uh, it was probably... Uh, it didn't probably go the way it, 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 Jamie Griffiths wanted it to go, but uh, it probably looked worse than it was, McGill. Well, I reckon, uh, I reckon this is going to go the wrong way, Bingo. Oh, well, of course, it's going to be a penalty to Scone, no uh, doubt about it, but uh, I don't agree with it. It should be a single position on the far side of the field. Let the game go. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. We might take a break here now. The, the Power Credit Union scoreboard chain Scone 8 leading a singleton nil in the 95 grand final. Enjoy a drink with friends and soak up the relaxing atmosphere at the Musselburgh RSL Club. The Musselburgh RSL Club offers a wide and varied range of activities like Club Kino, Eyes Down and regular Friday night competitions. Treat yourself to a delicious meal at the Musselburgh RSL's Bistro. They have a wonderful selection of fine foods to choose from from their extensive menu. They're open seven days from 12 to 2 lunchtimes and 6 to 8 for dinner. The Musselburgh RSL Club, top of the town, Bridge Street, Musselbrook. For the information of members and their guests. Now, back to Brian McGrath and the team for the 2 and m 2 es coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Scone back on the attack, 30 metres out. Uh, it's come to uh, Edmonds. I think that big run from uh, Edmonds has knocked him up a little bit. <laughs> he's, uh, he didn't make too far that time. Madden, Madden uh, showing the ball, but uh, well tackled by Sharp. I uh, didn't take it. Uh, Reynolds... Away to uh, Brown. Brown uh, 
makes uh, ground towards the 22. But, uh, Skane, this has been their least impressive uh, set of six, I'd say, as they wind it up now with Madden. But he's likely to turn something on. He's put this one up high in the air, getting under his king. King takes offside. it well. Skane are offside. Penalty Singleton. And we have a change in Sydney. Yeah, Magoo, it's Cronulla 14, uh, Manly 8, uh, which is... Geez, that's a sad score line, isn't it? Yes, I don't think we'll crow too much yet. <laughs> uh, and uh, Mark uh, Newman has found touch. I'll tell you what, if uh, Scone can get, uh, if Singleton can get a, a try now, they'll be, they'll be looking pretty good because I'm quite sure this breeze is, uh, the way Scone's kicks are, uh, are going, is, help, is turning their way at times. Yeah, they haven't had much opportunity in the Scone half, Magoo, but as you said, this is a perfect opportunity to get down there and finally put something together. Right, Matthews tackled. Two metres over the halfway. Wapham onto Howard. Howard to Richard, oh, uh, to uh, Bailey. Oh, here's another loose ball picked up by uh, by Frost and he got it away to Adams. Adams has pulled down 33 metres out. That's Brett Adams, of course. Now a big one, a uh, bouncing one out to Reynolds. He gets it away quickly to uh, Horn. Horn puts on the pace and is knocked over by Tyndale and Wapham. 33 metres out from the try line. Malcolm Everly for a scamper but uh, can't get away from the tackle of uh, Tyndale. Puts him down 25 metres out. Now it's uh, Steve Adams. Runs strongly. Takes it inside the 20. And uh, it'll be played back to Duggan. Madden. Madden scheming. Back it comes to Brown. That was a move. Set move, that one. But uh, well read by... Uh, Steve Richards, whose, whose shoulder's got to be all right. This is the last tackle. Madden reverses play to Sutton. Forward, and it forward, is a forward ball. Uh, and Singleton will play the ball now. Oh, it's kicked right from the start. Six to go. And uh, Howard picks it up and will run it back to where they started from. Six to go from here as it comes to uh, Paul King. His first touch of the ball. And he's taken it over the 20-metre line too. And... Back to uh, Wapham. On it goes to Warren George. A good strong charge by George. He's up to the 30. Getting it away from the danger area for Singleton. Singleton. Gardner. Gardner also strong. He's thrown another loose one, but picked up by Howard. Howard gets it to George. George uh, looking to get it away and then thinks, no, there's nothing on. And takes it up to the 40 metre mark. Now to Howard. Howard has plenty of players outside him. He's going to be caught, but gets it back to Gardner. Gardner straightens up. Now he's in a gap. Gardner gets it away to the winger. The winger, uh, Tyndale, well, it's not the winger, but it was Tyndale, has gone down the park. On it, onto Gardner now. This should be the last tackle. Gardner, no one wants him. On it goes to uh, Bailey. Bailey gets it back to uh, Matthews, and Matthews will be wrapped up about 15 metres out from the skate line. Uh, another bit of good work from, from Singleton there, and I think Frost is down injured. Magoo, that was a great set of six from Singleton. They finally got inside Scone's 20, and uh, the pressure's, they've got to keep the pressure on Scone. Right, Mark, I'm Elverley running it away, and just over the 20. Um, we've got to see how they run out in the full edge, uh, full time of 80 minutes to Scone. They've only had one game in, uh, in a whole month, as this time it's back to uh, Pennell. Pennell held up. Good tackle from Howard underneath, and uh, Sharp over the top. Now Reynolds, can he break through this time? No. Matthews that time had him right round the ankles to pull him down. They're going low on the big guys and it's working out for them now. It's back to Brown for the kick. This Side is a boot. He's put it into the crowd. So it'll be Singleton to restart play uh, with a play the ball inside the scone half. One of the better positions they've been in. Or not quite inside this. What's happened here? No, it's he's kicked it out in the fourth. Scrum. Scrum. Well, it wasn't the sixth tackle. No, it was about the fourth. Scrum to pack down. Interesting to see Gary Gardner get involved all the time. McGew at front row. He's having a blinder of a game. No one seemed to want him that time. The Scone defence looked a little bit uh, as if they were disinterested. And that, that could be something. Simon Frost takes it from, the, from Howard from the scrum. Goes over halfway. Now Bailey gets it away to Gardner. What will he do this time? Shows the ball. Puts a charge on. Uh, cops a hard tackle from Rando for his trouble. But he's still on his feet. And... Uh, Plays it back to Sharp. Maiden is on the field. I don't know who came off, but Maiden is uh, only about 27 Griffiths. metres out. Out now to uh, Howard. Back, back in come, side comes Matthews. Matthews well tackled by Brown underneath. And he'll play it back to uh, Watham. Watham gets it to Howard. Little scamper from Howard, but uh, pulled up 19 metres out. Last tackle for the Greyhounds. On it goes to Gardner. Can he pull something on? Yeah. He's got Bailey. 
And this time the ball has gone loose again. They didn't have to pay for it so badly that time. Reynolds will dive on it for Scone. Back to uh, Everly, who's uh, making his own way in this game, uh, coming into it whenever he can. Didn't get very far that time. 19 metres out from his own line. Uh, Sutton, who hasn't seen much of the ball, also taking a dart. He gets over the 20. Now, now uh, Pennell, a big, strong run out of a couple of tackles, but Sharp uh, goes over the top. Matthews underneath to put him down 31 metres out. Now Rando, he's strong, but can't get through the tackle of Gardner. Uh, as Gardner has him down, nine metres short of halfway. Uh, back to Madden. Madden kicks. Is that early on the six again, Benko? Yeah, I think uh, it's about four, McGoo. Newman under it beautifully. Well, that's, uh, that's in Singleton's favour, really. Out it goes to Frost. He gets the ball away. Frost will come stepping back inside as uh, Steve Adams puts him to ground eight metres short of halfway. Back it comes to uh, King, who's over on the other wing. And he's down five metres short of the halfway break. Brett Horn's off, McGoo. Timmy Ray's on for Scone. Right, who, do, who went to... Oh, you've already told me that. Glenn Maidham now making a good run. Four metres past the halfway mark. Uh, Gardner into dummy half. Will uh, set up a sharper run. He's doing a good job of it too. Up to the 30 metre mark. And Singleton are, uh, are gradually look as though they're starting to take uh, some, make some, some impression on this game. Now it's little Stevie Howard who's gone over the 20. Last tackle though. And uh, Gardner will have to decide what to do. No, Watham's going to do the deciding. He puts a grubber through. It's easily picked off by Sutton. And he starts a run and is put down about eight metres from uh, the... Tr or tr uh, just on the 10 metre mark out from the try line. Mick Reynolds not looking good in the background after a tackle. And uh, there's a good, strong tackle over the top on Frost. And he'll play the ball. That's Clinton Adams, I'm sorry, out there. So someone else is off too. Scone have uh, got two off at the moment. As back it goes to Duggan. On to uh, Frost. Frost, uh, this time, a good run. Uh, over the 30 mark. And he'll play it. It could be Reynolds that's gone off, I guess. Now uh, back uh, to uh, Brown. Puts the kick down. Simon Frost is going to get, the, get it on the bounce. He'll run it up. Runs it strongly. And he's given a very heavy tackle for his trouble. Uh, a good, strong one. That had to be Rando or Steve Adams, actually. Now it's Newman coming in strongly. Almost a halfway. Howard. Bailey, Tyndale, Tyndale uh, not much on for him, but he gets over halfway with uh, Brad Adams hanging on to him. Now to Howard, on to uh, Sharp. Sharp uh, making good impression with his running in the la la last few minutes of this game. It'll be uh, Hackwatham into the, hook, uh, into the dummy half spot. Matthews thinks there's a gap up the middle. Does a good job of uh, making one too, but he's 29 metres out. Last tackle coming up. It goes to Howard. He doesn't kick. Now he, he passes the ball. Rando knocks it down. Scone fall on it. And Scone will take up possession on their 20 metre mark through Clinton Adams. Now it's out to uh, Brad Adams. And he's pulled down 28 metres uh, from, from, the, from his own try line. Now Mal Everly on the skid at 10 metres from halfway before uh, Peter Sharp caught up with him with Glenn Maidham. Now Pennell strongly this time. But he's only going to make it to halfway. He hasn't really busted them up yet. A good tackle from Hackwatham. Duggan away to Madden. On to Rando. Dummies to kick. Little Stevie Howard's got him and knocks him over too uh, with some help from uh, Gary Gardner. They're keeping an eye on Rando. Madden away to Brown. This is a charge down. Can Julian Bailey scoop it up? No, it's kicked forward by... Si uh, by uh, Steve Richards. Yeah, he called six to go, Shaughnessy, on that Magoo, and I think it would have been play on had Singleton regained possession down there. It certainly would have. Uh, there's been, uh, Singleton holding pretty well. Uh, Anthony Edmonds is off, and uh, Clinton Adams and uh, Timmy Ray are both on there now. Horn and Anthony Edmonds are off for Scone. Yes, well, all the rumours about Horn have probably been pretty correct from the way he was getting around out there. And he's always going to be in doubt. Duggan seems to be hanging up pretty well. Uh, now, Scone ball from the scrum. They had the feed. And uh, it's uh, Adams, Steve Adams from the wing. He's done a lot of work, Steve Adams. We had another forward today. As <clears throat> This time, I think it could be Tim Ray having his first run. Oh, Clinton Adams it was. He's now, Tim Ray having a run. And it's his typical fashion. He's been taken back there behind the 30-metre uh, mark. Now, Duggan will dummy, but not taken by Maidham. Yeah, they read that well, McGoo. And uh, he and uh, Gardner have sent him back a, car, a few metres behind the 30-metre mark. Now, out to Rando. Rando's shaping to kick. 
Puts a big one down for Newman. It's going to go over Newman's head. Uh, not kicking on quite as much as some of the earlier kicks. Maybe the breeze is uh, starting to die a bit. It's even starting to get a bit warm over here. And uh, Newman takes a hammering on his own 20 metre mark. Yeah, it was a good kick and chase from Rando and Madden there, Magoo. They've hemmed him in. They're inside, just outside their own 20 now. Frost making a good run. Almost up to 30. Did Stupid I hear the play. whistle? Stupid play. Who has done what? I think that was uh, Clinton Adams. At, uh, sorry, Timmy Ray that just gave away a silly penalty there. Now, quick tap by Siegel. They didn't go for the line. And it's Warren George. Nine metres from halfway. That's a good run. Watham away to Howard. Howard lines up the winger. Uh, looks Richo. like Richards. Uh, Simon Frost looks to have moved into the centre, has he? On it comes to Warren George. Warren George, again, a good run. He's having a big game, the second rower. Back it comes to Watham. On to uh, Gardner. Gardner puts on the accelerator and goes uh, to within 30 metres of the try line. Still at least a couple of tackles left. Played back to Watham. Howard again on the blind. He does the dummy. Gets it inside to Maidham. Maidham pulled down 22 metres short. And uh, it's the last tackle. Back to uh, Newman. He's going to put up the bomb. It's a bit of a horror. It's gone back a bit. Oh, come off Scone. I don't know who's got that ball. Brad Adams, Magoo. No. Uh, it's Singleton's ball. Six to go. 18 metres out. <laughs> Six to go. It's Newman who got it. Uh, not Newman, but uh, Tyndale. <laughs> Watham. On it goes to uh, Howard. Ooh, Howard forward. to George. George has put it down. Yeah, shocker there, Magoo. Stevie Adams of the decoy went through. And uh, scrum to pack down the power. Credit Union scoreboard showing Scone 8 leading Singleton nil. Tonight, NBN delves into political scandal. Call girls and wild affairs are not good for the image of a cabinet minister for the family. And only one person can fix it. The politician's wife. She stands by him as the faithful woman supporting him in the public eye, but not without a reason. What price will she make the minister pay? Find out tonight in The Politician's Wife. It's only the best on NBN television. This is the 2M Tui's Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath and the team. Well, did I read that wrong? Or Scone actually had a penalty there, did they? Yeah, he's up? ruled Steve Howard's pass was deliberately passed forward, McGoo. Right, now is Oh, Pennell uh, had, the, had the ball ready to give away, just couldn't quite give it away. Madden now on the run, up to halfway. There's a half-time score from Sydney. Yeah, 14-8, Cronulla over Manly, it's a shame. Yeah, terrible, as, uh, but it's better action here, I can tell you. Sutton pulled down, eight metres inside the singleton half. Scone on the attack now. Madden puts the kick. Well, he always puts it into the space. It's running on pretty strongly too. Now, uh, it's uh, Newman having the trouble to get out, and he does get out. He's uh, played pretty safely, Numo. And as it comes out now to Simon Frost, he's a strong lad, only a youngster too, of 18. Julian Bailey, the 5'8", only 60. His Gardner looming up, makes a big, strong run, bulldozes over the top of Adams, but Adams helped him, uh, held on to him, I should say. That was young Brad Adams. Now Sharp, Sharp. Uh, the scone, uh, scone forwards aren't really hitting terribly hard to me at this stage as it played back to Wapham. On it goes to Newman. Uh, where will his kick go? It's, uh, it's going to make... Uh, Everly run this time. That's uh, run down behind his line. Great kick. Uh, and uh, a very good kick. Now, will he get great away from tackle. the tacklers? No. Great chase and a great tackle from Steve Richards to put him down inside the 20 in uh, Scone's half of the field. Steve Adams there to take the run from dummy half. He'll play it back to Sutton. On it goes to Brown. Brown, uh, ooh, halfway through the gap. It was uh, Tyndale, I think, who just got him and might have got a... New to uh, the head. Uh, yeah, in the, in the bargain. Now Brad Adams trying to find somewhere to go. Maidham's over the top of him, and it's probably sharp underneath. No Watham. Now uh, Duggan tries to go himself, and Maidham under him. Maidham started a warm-up. Julian Bailey in the tackle too. Now Madden, he's always trouble when he starts to move. This is a good kick. Paul King and uh, Mark Newman both uh, merging on it. They've got to run it out from behind their own line. Madden's trying to pull King in. King has made oh, it inside, Rando. but he's going to be dragged back. Rando no, lined him up, Magoo. still in play. Only a metre out of his own line. As uh, it's Richards who makes another couple of metres in the second tackle. Now Gardner. He's going to take these forwards on. I reckon it'll be a good shot at this stage. They're not tackling all that convincingly, the going forwards at the moment. Out it comes to... Uh, doesn't. It was a dummy from Watham, and he takes it over the 20. 
Now to uh, Matthew standing wide. Puts the pass on to Bailey. Bailey picked that one up very well. He's uh, in pretty good shape. He picks up passes like that. Under pressure too it was. And kept the charge going forward too as well. Back to Newman. Newman puts the kick up. This one's going to land between uh, Adam. Yeah. Oh, this might be a charge for uh, Richards. Can he get free? That's a sixth. Ooh, I think he called it a bit quick. I, I, thought, I think he was still able to get the ball away there, Richards. As uh, Sutton takes uh, a quick play of the ball. And uh, he is pulled down uh, 35 metres out from the scan line. Brown um, starting, starting to look impressive, more impressive in his attack too. This time out to Reynolds. Reynolds taken by Bailey front on, but slips the ball to Ray. Ray uh, trying to get it away to uh, Duggan, but can't. That's when Reynolds at his most dangerous, when he slips that ball. Now Ray gets it away to uh, Madden. Long pass out to Brown. Brown is going to be dragged down by Matum. Can't get the ball away as Howard comes in and finishes him off. Madden in the dummy half. On it goes to Duggan. Duggan just puts the head down and... Uh, Bailey has taken him to ground. Last tackle for Scone. Not an inspiring set of six either. Back it come uh, to Rando this time. And an awkward bounce. Uh, King just lets it hit him on the feet. Beats one tackler. Beats Rando. Eventually brought down 20 metres out. Good tackle from, uh, from Anthony Edmonds who looks to be back on the field. Yeah, for Clinton Adams, Magoo, and five minutes to go. Five minutes to go to half time. Newman. Uh, power. How Singleton would like a try at this stage. Oh, he's knocked it on. Knocked it on. Right, they'll scrum down there. Could be dangerous here. The, the uh, Power Credit Union scoreboard, Scone 8, Singleton nil. In For the information of members and their guests, every week over $5 million is won playing Club Kino. I believe that, because I got $10,000 on Friday. I won $10,000 too, but on Monday night. $8,542.42 did me on Thursday, but tonight, tonight I'm betting I can crack jackpot 10 and take home over a million dollars. Let's go, Spring has sprung, the grass has reared. I wonder where the new nursery in Musselbrook is. The all-new Old Barn Nursery is now open behind the Shell Garage in Bridge Street with heaps of specials. Helen Keaton, backed up by 15 years' experience, is on hand with friendly and helpful advice to assist her many clients on all gardening and pot requirements. The Old Barn stock both Australian and imported pots and plants. Plus, there's plenty of on-site parking. Green Thumb Paradise has arrived at the Old Barn Nursery, the newest and most modern nursery in the Upper Hutter, catering for the needs of every home gardener. Now, back to Brian McGrath and the team for the 2 and m 2 E's coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Well, f following the scrum, uh, a couple of tackles, Reynolds taken into touch on the grandstand side of Scone Park. And a scrum feed to Singleton, won by Singleton. King takes it up to the 20-metre mark. And uh, with half-time looming five, meter, five minutes away. Yeah. And he's penalised. He's penalised Brown and Penel for lying on the tackler. So a penalty to Singleton. They're certainly not uh, kicking for the line. I, think, I don't know whether that's a really good option at this stage. They're trying to get ground the hard way. As um, Gardner gets a pass inside to Matthews, who's twirled pretty well this half. Uh, Matthews and George in the second row. Oh, oh Gardner, the pass to mistake. him has gone behind him. And, and Scone will fall on it. So it's Scone's chance to uh, make that scoreline more impressive at half time. Out it comes to Madden. Madden onto Reynolds. Reynolds back to Madden. Madden sees a gap. Gets oh. it onto Frost. Frost. Frost has made a meal of it. And I think it's going to be Bailey who'll come up with it. And uh, Watham gets it back to uh, Sharp. Sharp. He ran pretty steadily that time. And he'll play it 13 metres short of the halfway to Howard. On it goes to Gardner. Gardner gets it on to uh, Bailey. Bailey jolted in the tackle. That was a big one from uh, Pennell. That was certainly a hard hit. Gardner again up the blind side. What can't this man do? Gets a pass to uh, Richard or tried to. Brad it's Adams. gone to the deck. Brad Richards Adams might have been up. in space too. But it's going to be uh, Scone coming back on the attack through Ray. Ray will go down in the tackle a metre short of the halfway. Tyndale underneath him. Back to Madden. Rando. Rando up to halfway. Gives it to Everly. Everly's exploded onto the ball. He's got the pace to do it. No, he's gone down. Not held, Magoo. Everly will score. What a try. Yeah, he wasn't held there, Magoo. And Scone 12. 
leading Singleton nil on the Power Credit Union scoreboard. Tyndale underneath him. Back to Madden. Rando. Rando up to halfway. Gives it to Evely. Evely's exploded onto the ball. He's got the pace to do it. No, he's gone down. Not held, Magoo. Evely will score. What a try. Yeah, he wasn't held there, Magoo. And Scone 12. Leading single nil on the Power Credit Union scoreboard. In the market for a new car now? Why lead around for delivery of a new Honda or Falcon? When Scope Toyota, get the feeling of a new Toyota Lex and leading the way in comfort and style. There's one waiting for you now on Scope Toyota, 225 Kelly Street. Proud to be associated with the Scope Thoroughbreds and would like to take this opportunity to wish the dream that faced the luck in the 1995 to its Group 21 Grand Final. For the two and a half, two weeks coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, by from Scope Park. Reynolds has placed the ball 10 metres in from the halfway and taking the kick. And we'll get back to Benko in a second. This will be a very good lead for Skane if he can put it over. And he's got it, he's got it, it's a great kick. Well, Benko, typical day Batten worked, uh, uh, Mal Everly uh, worked there. Yeah, well, Magoo, the worst thing that could have possibly happened was uh, it, the try came just on the uh, dot of... of and I'd say... <laughs> oh, we're not going to mention the score. We're not going to mention the score. No, nah, right. not for the second half, Magoo, for those people who want to watch it in this afternoon on the telly. Uh Tall pots, short pots, square pots. In fact, the Potaway range of pots are suitable for any setting and any decor. The Old Barn Nursery supplies the Potaway pots. Directly behind the Shell Garage on the New England Highway, Musselbrook. Now open. This is the 2 and M 2 es Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath on the team. It's going to kick off uh, to start the second half. Uh, John Satori's been to both dressing sheds. What's, what's, the, what's the go down there, John? Well, well Magoo, um, I tell you what, Dal Rando, very happy man. He wants him to basically uh, keep this next squad, this next half, keep them to nil, uh, Singleton. And also contain Gary Gardner. He's the danger man. And also uh, a change, and that is that Clinton Adams is on for Brett Horn uh, in the Singleton uh, sheds. They want him to put them on their backs, get two or three guys onto their forwards and put them on their back, get them on the turtle, roll, roll them onto their backs like turtles. Jared Ryan is on also for wa uh, Warren George as well. That's right. for single. Uh, yeah, for single. Right, and Jared Ryan, as we talk, is running it out of the 20-metre uh, uh, mark, just on the 20 metres, in fact. Watham gets it back to Sharp. Sharp's had a very good game. Has. And he's taken it up to the 30 metres, and it'll be Watham who'll uh, take the ball back from there. Back it goes to Richards. Richards puts up a wobbler. It could be going out in the full. No. A beautiful kick. <laughs> oh, well. It, great it, judgment, Steve Richards. Yeah, well, it didn't go out in the fall, and that was the only thing uh, perhaps good about it, Magoo. I don't think it had the uh, distance or the accuracy that he wanted. He wanted it deep in Scone territory, but as it is, it's 45 metres out from the Scone, uh, Singleton line with a Scone feed. I still think the breeze has come round to Scone. Uh, uh, Darrell Rando's got someone else working for him up there as well. Uh, now up from the Scone, Scone's ball, Rando, heavily again. A great dash over the halfway, back inside to Steve Adams. He puts on the power, but Newman and uh, Ryan finish his run uh, just 30 metres out from the Singleton line. Here's Adam Frost. He's charging. He's, He's through the defence. But a great saving tackle from Simon Frost, or it was Jared Ryan, I should say, again. Takes him down. Madden, long pass, cut-out pass, bouncing around, picked up by Sutton, and he's driven to ground by Frost. And he'll play the ball. And uh, here comes Brad Adams coming away with the ball, all very close to the line, nine metres out. And uh, it's Singleton back in trouble again. Reynolds, very dangerous from here. But he's put down and actually driven back by Gary Gardner. Eight metres out the line. Rando, little dribble through, loose ball. And it's going to be Singleton to play it. Six tackles to go for yeah, Singleton. Tyndale's on it, Magoo. Tyndale's on it. Uh, Rando went for the chip through from about 10 out. It uh, hit a couple of Singleton guys on the feet, and Tyndale dived on it. Now Watham, dummy, running it up uh, to the 20-metre mark, and... Uh, Offside up. penalty to, to Singleton. Yeah, I think standing to the side of the uh, ruck, actually, was the signal. And Newman to fine touch. 
And we'll see if he can put a bigger one up than uh, Richards. There it is. He's done that quite successfully and safely. Found touch 13 metres from the halfway. And Watham will restart play with a tap. On it goes to Frost. Frost uh, goes straight into the uh, scone forwards and goes down uh, three metres short of halfway. Watham this time to Howard. On it goes to Matthews. Matthews runs well. Was in a position to slip the ball. He's still going in back. And eventually it's uh, Ray who wrestles him down. Nine metres inside the scone half. On it goes to Gardner. Gardner gets it back to Sharp. Sharp uh, trying to pull away from Madden and uh, Brown. And eventually held up. Played back to uh, Howard this time. Howard a big pass out to Richards. Richards uh, taken down 35 metres he's out. Lost he's lost it in the, the tackle, ball. McGoo. And it's going to run it back. Yeah, Frost, he's Frost. Still on it. Frost might have got a bit of an injury there too. As Reynolds this time comes up. Not all that convincingly. He's thrown oh, a loose bad ball. Blue. And it will be fallen upon by Scone. Uh, but I think he's going to say, scrum it down there. And it will be a singleton feed of the ball. This pa uh, the uh, Power Credit Union scoreboard reading singleton 14, leading Scone nil <laughs> in the grand final. The Aberdeen Bowling Club is the place to be. Now, back to Brian McGrath and the team for the 2 and m 2 E's coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Don't put up with tough steak and fatty chops for your dinner. Shop at Aberdeen Meats to pick up all your fresh meats instead. Aberdeen Meats sell only the freshest and most tender meats. Their wide variety includes succulent lamb, boneless sirloin, rump steak, sausages, cutlets, pork and more. When it comes time to do your weekly shopping, call into Aberdeen Meats. No more need to use a hacksaw to cut your steak when you shop at Aberdeen Meats. Aberdeen Meats in the Valley Fair, Aberdeen. This is the 2 and m 2 es Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath on the team. Howard lobs it back to Gardner. Gardner sets sail for the line, and it goes to Watham. He's, he's massacred there in a very, very quick up tack, uh, tackle from Frost. Now uh, Sharp, Sharp's down. One tackle to go for Singleton. Uh, out to Howard. Howard will put the grubber kick through. There's a pick up here by Matthews, and I say it'd be six to go. It is, McGoo, it is. Matthews playing it only two metres out. And uh, on to Howard. Oh. Out it goes to Ryan. Ryan is monstered in the tackle. Uh, just five metres out from the line. On it goes to uh, Bailey. Bailey steps, tries to get through the defence. The Scone defence has been working very hard. Now it's a scammer from Wapham. He's held, up. he's held up. He's held up, McGoo. Ten metre scrum. Singleton will get possession, and it looks like uh, Pennell is dead, not Pennell. Adam Frost, McGoo, he's not well. He was injured in a previous tackle over there on the far side of the field, then he got up, and uh, he doesn't look too well at the moment. But a great uh, great defensive effort there from the Scone boys, but it's still not over. Singleton with the feed, 10 metres out. It was pretty encouraging for Singleton too, wasn't it? Gardner from Locke decides to take the ball, gets it away to uh, Bailey. Bailey's held up, only two metres out from the line, and that's dragged away from him. That should be a penalty. Well, he's done something. He's played. Yes, it is. Yep. Right in front. Well, what do they do, Benko? They're 14 nil down. Well, there's about I got the score wrong. I said Singleton were leading 14 nil the last time, but it's at his game that's leading 14 nil. I think he's got five minutes to go, McGoo. Yeah, the, I, but I don't know whether I agree with that. They had Scone on the rack there a little bit, McGoo. They certainly did. Mark Newman right in front of the post will try to put Singleton on the board, and the well, Mark Newman. Uh, got to wait to take this uh, penalty conversion and putting the crowd back. Uh, Benko. Yeah, mate. The, uh, I, I don't know whether I'd agree with that two points. I mean, so it's easy pickings. It's right in front. He's not going to miss it in a million years. David White could even put this over. But I would have kept the attack on. Scone had a few blokes injured there. I would have kept the attack on and really uh, piled it and put Scone under a heap of pressure. He's put it straight between the posts. It's 14-2. What would you have done, Benko, if you had had the five, $500 double? Uh, so that makes a change to the Power Credit Union scoreboard. Scone 14, leading Singleton 2. <laughs> if you are buying or selling a property, call on the expert services of Yvonne Boyle Real Estate in Musselbrook. Yvonne Boyle has a wide and varied list of properties and homes in all price ranges to home, property or business in the hands of Yvonne Boyle. And you will be assured of satisfaction. Yvonne Boyle Real Estate, Sydney Street, Musselbrook. Phone 43 3553. That's 43 3553 or after hours on 431814. 431814. 
Now, back to Brian McGrath and the team for the 2 m 2 E's coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Jared Ryan scrambling his way up towards the 20, now on to Sharp. Sharp goes over the 20 metre line. Singleton uh, bringing it out from, from their own half as it goes to Gardner. Gardner runs strongly, pushes, uh, pushes Randall, Re 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 uh, Reynolds away. Gets it away to Maidem. Maidem almost to halfway. That's good stuff from Singleton. We're seeing a bit of a rev up going on here at the moment. A bit of a change to the game. Richards. Good Richards tackle. can't get away from what is a good tackle from uh, Edmonds. Howard. Now Gardner. Gardner knocks a one out of his way. Passes to Sharp. Sharp gets it to Howard. Howard pops it to Watham. Watham oh, got he King with him. It. Probably should have given it. King was in space. But now they'll go the other way. Howard. What's he going to do? Big pass to Richards. Richards is going to be swallowed up in the tackle, 18 metres out from the Scone line. No question, I think Singleton are looking a bit better at the moment. Well, look oh. at Scone now, Magoo. They're in a big heap, a, a heap, a heap there. They're uh, just relying on their wingers and a couple of the outside backs to take the pressure off them, uh, 25 metres out from their own line. Scott Pennell looking a little bit uh, worse for wear too. Here's Frost again. He's made a good recovery and uh, he's 11 metres short of the line. We've got... Uh, Someone else down the back there, there, a good run from Rando. He's taken it over the halfway mark and a good tackle from Waffham there too. Now uh, Duggan throws the pass back to Brown. Brown puts in the kick. It's an awkward one, but bounces well for uh, Mark Newman. A good run here will do his team a lot of service. He does get it up to the 20. And, uh, and from there they'll play it. On it goes to uh, Frost. Frost gets it away to Bailey. Bailey uh, does a good step and run onto Tyndale. Tyndale uh, brings it out to 33 metres. Good work there. They're making ground. Gardner, he's really pouring onto the ball. Out it comes to uh, the oh. uh, <laughs> Stumpy uh, uh, Wapham at hand. Now Stumpy Howard goes again. Caught them napping too. He's eight metres inside the scone half. Penalty Outside. Singleton. Yeah, what a great set of six that was for Singleton Magoo. They got the ball in, in 10 metres out the rain line. They're now 40 metres out with a kick the uh, Right in front, I, I would say Mark Newman's going to take it. He's got a bit of a bruise behind him. I don't think he is. No. Nah. I think he's going to go for the touch line. Well, that's what they needed, but Gary Gardner and the other forwards, they really took it up to the Scone defence there, and uh, they made ground. They were on a roll, and uh, I tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if they hit it across here. A try could bring this grand final alive. Frost, Frost charges, makes good ground. The defence stood back. He's over the 20. Five tackles to go. On it goes to, to uh, Sharp. Sharp pulled down about 11 metres out. And uh, he'll play it uh, back to Watham. Watham uh, dummies to Gardner. Now goes to Maidem. Maidem is big and he's strong and he's pulled down. Only four metres out. Watham. Watham out to Matthews. Matthews held up. Uh, still three metres short of the try line. So uh, Scones are soaking up the pressure at the moment. As Watham gets it to Gardner. Gardner a long one. Uh, Stumpy Howard can't pick it up, but Newman has. And he'll run it back to within 12 metres of the line. Last tackle. Back to uh, Gardner. Gardner lining up his winger. Uh, gets the ball. Too heavy the kick. He's in goal. He in kicked dead. the ball and it went dead. Scone to work it away from their 22. And the Power Credit Union scoreboard says Scone 14. Lead Singleton 2 in the grand final. Any man or a professional builder, Gould Brothers are the hardware specialists, offering quality products, the right advice, and traditional down-to-earth service. Gould Brothers have a comprehensive range of building materials like reinforcing steel, timber, wallboards, roofing materials, paint, hand and power tools, along with an extensive range of plumbing and bathroom fittings and so much more. For great value and expert advice, it's Gould Brothers, your one-stop timber and hardware store of Singleton, Musselbrook and Scone. This is the 2 m 2 es Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath on the team. Well, uh, Scone got a penalty straight after the tap, and they're now in the singleton half, 10 metres inside, in fact, with Timmy Ray playing the ball. Who's he on for, Benko? Mick Reynolds, Magoo. Brown takes a run, gets oh. it to Duggan. Duggan's knocked it on. Uh, Scone not in their most purple patch of this game, I don't think. And... Uh, Steve Watham taking a bit of time to get up there. He's ready for the scrum, though. Singleton well, need a try, Benko. They certainly do, Magoo. And the, this next set of six, they've got to get right up here now and put the pressure on the scone, boys. How long does Whitey say we've got to go? 
We're 12, 12 and a half minutes into the second half, McGee. Right, we should finish about 4.42. Singleton got the ball. Bailey shows it. But uh, not the, the dummy ball is not taken by Frost. Now on to Gardner. Gardner stands in the tackle. Throws it nowhere. Picked up by Maidham. Uh, Madden working very hard has got him and puts him down. Rando's in there too. Uh, out it goes to Ryan. Ryan uh, gets through about three of them. But uh, is pulled down. They're finding it hard. Uh, Scone defence has started to rally. I think Rando said... Let's push the button. That's five tackles gone, and they had trouble making ground. Howard. Howard has uh, Richards running through onto the ball. Richards, uh, the bounce goes away from him. Howard gets it forward, and it's a race for the ball. Who has got it? I'm sure Scone has, but it's, uh, it, it's uh, Adams. Adams. Adams has it, and it's um, is it Tim Ray trying to run it away. No, it was Sutton. Now uh, Brad Adams, he's held by Tyndale, and he's put to ground. Well, Scone defence made a bit of a comeback in that last set of six for Singleton. We have uh, Shane Brumby coming onto the field. Someone's off. Peter Sharp, McGee. Gee, they sh that, they'll miss him. They certainly will. But Brumby might rev things up a little out there. We'll see as Frost goes down the tackle, 11 metres short of halfway. They need something to happen here, Singleton. And uh, Brown kicks for the line. It's an awkward one for Frost. He gets his body out of the way, and it's going to roll into touch. A very, very good kick from uh, Brown. <coughs> and the scrum to pack down just inside the scone 20, uh, the uh, Singleton 20, with the pa uh, power credit union scoreboard showing scone 14, leading Singleton 2. You know, there's nothing nicer than to be able to sit down amongst family and friends in modern, comfortable surroundings and enjoy a good night out. At the Musselbrook District Workers' Club, you can do just that. Enjoy an icy cold beer, or if you're on the run, there's a fully stocked bottle department complete with Rosemount wine and, of course, yes, the good old wild turkey. Delicious meals are served from the bistro seven days a week, including the freshest seafood. FPOS facilities are available, and you can try your luck on the pokies. The Musselbrook District Workers' Club, for the information of members and their guests. Now, back to Brian McGrath and the team for the 2 and m 2 es coverage of the 1995 Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Shane Brumby pulled down just two metres short of halfway in the 2 es Hunter Valley Rugby League Grand Final for 95. Gardner kicks on oh, the sixth, man. and I think it's a shocker. You're not wrong, McGee. You put around the there. They didn't need that. They were... we'll, we'll forgive him for that, Ben. Yeah, well, they were rallying well out of their half there. A couple of good, strong runs, one in particular by Shane Brumby. And then the kick, that's, but I've got to give Gary Gardner credit. That's the only thing he's done wrong today, and everything else has been tremendous. But a very uh, big game. And he'd be in line for our Gillette uh, watch that we're giving away. service needs from commercial to domestic units 24 hours a day. EMM refrigeration or actual service on 018 686 408. Service is prompt. EMM refrigeration know that you want that refrigerator, air conditioner, cool room or other refrigerated units back in service quick smart. So call them EM refrigeration and air conditioning on SCODE 018 686 408. This is the 2 and 2 es Group 21 League Grand Final, live from Scone Park, with Brian McGrath and the team. Tonight, NBN delves into political scandal. Call girls and wild affairs are not good for the image of a cabinet minister for the family. And only one person can fix it, the politician's wife. She stands by him as the faithful woman, supporting him in the public eye, but not without a reason. What price will she make the minister pay? Find out tonight in The Politician's Wife. It's only the best on NBN television. The Musselbrook Hotel in Market Street is the home of the mighty Musselbrook Sharks. The Musselbrook Hotel is a fantastic place to sit down and relax with your mates over a quiet beer and relive all the tries, tackles and action of today's Group 21 Rugby League Grand Finals. All your favourite beers are on tap, and the laid-back, friendly atmosphere will keep you coming back to the Musselbrook Hotel time and time again. The management and staff of the Musselbrook Hotel would like to wish the Mighty Sharks all the best in today's grand final. The Musselbrook Hotel, home of the Sharks, Market Street, Musselbrook. 
For a sportier look to your car, check out Intec Window Tinting. Our high-performance metalized films stay looking great for years. They're made to last so they won't go purple and bubbly like some others. Intec's metalized films come in a range of colors. And for one of the darkest legal films, check out the high-performance XRS. It looks great and you'll only find it at Intec. For a great-looking car, phone Intec Window Tinting today. We're now open at Singleton. Phone us on 712 7233. Intec Window Tinting at Singleton. That's cool. The celebrations are still in full swing at Saunders Mazda during the Mazda Something for Everyone clearance. So walk right in and let the team at Saunders Mazda do a great deal for you. Whatever you want in a new or used car, be it range, features, quality, style or price, Saunders Mazda has something for everyone. Walk right in on a new Mazda 121, 323, 626 Eclipse at the stunning Estita range at Saunders Mazda Scone. Yes, there really is something for everyone at Saunders Mazda, Kelly Street Scone. McCallum Ritchie Ray White Real Estate announced the following auctions. Auction 1 is an elegant three-bedroom brick home with large living area and in-ground pool located at 35 Seawood Avenue, Scone. Auction 2 is a centrally located three-bedroom weatherboard home with a fireplace and air conditioning complete with double garage situated at 51 Hill Street, Scone. Both these auctions will take place at the offices of McCallum Ritchie on Saturday, September 30 at 10am. For inspection times, phone McCallum Ritchie Ray White Real Estate of Scone on 451-211. We'll be back to the football real soon. We're just um, experiencing, experiencing a few difficulties in the meantime. Garage situated at 51 Hill Street, Scone. Both these auctions will take place at the offices of McCallum Ritchie on Saturday, September 30 at 10 a.m. For inspection times, phone McCallum Ritchie Ray White Real Estate of Scone on 451-211. We'll be back to the football real soon. We're just um, experiencing, experiencing a few difficulties. In the meantime, we'll just uh, catch up with uh, Phil and Tommy Emmanuel. This is back on Terra Firma. 2 and M.
back to Scone Park. Lots have happened since we left you. Uh, Paul King has scored for Singleton. It was a conversion from the sideline from uh, Mark Newman that's brought the, the Power Credit Union scoreboard up to Scone 14, Singleton 8, and the grand final is alive. Newman now running it up, 13 metres from the halfway mark. He'll play it back to Wapham. Wapham has a scamper himself, throws the dummy, and uh, he's pulled down in a good tackle from, uh, from uh, Waite, who looks to be on the field. Or Duggan it was. Yeah. And there's a big kick through from Singleton, which will go in dead goal. in goal. And uh, the play will come back to the 22. Yeah, Magoo, uh, in, that, uh, in that missed action there, there was plenty of action. Uh, Singleton scored, and, and right now Singleton uh, intensity has lifted tremendously. And, and Scone have got the tap out. And uh, Singleton really have to keep the pressure on Scone now. Tackle their hearts out. There's only about 15 minutes to go in this match. It's 14 points to wait. And uh, really, this is the crunch time for Singleton. They've got to force Scone into a few errors. It's on to Reynolds now. They've made good ground, Scone. They're uh, 15 metres from the halfway mark on their own side of the halfway. Now Duggan gets it to Rando. Rando decided it's time to, for him to have his hand, but he didn't get very far. He's been crunched by Gardner and Ryan. Now uh, it's uh, Duggan getting it away to Madden. On it goes to Brown. Brown, a low kick this time. It's bouncing very awkwardly for Frost. And Frost will dive on it just as uh, Sutton arrives from Scone. Out to Tyndale. Can Tyndale turn on a bit of his magic? He does make good ground up to nine metres from halfway. Watham gets it away now to uh, Sharp, who's back on the field. Sharp, another good run, is up to the halfway mark. And that's where he'll play the ball. Uh, a converted try could put Singleton on equal terms as it goes out now to uh, Bailey. Bailey put down... Two metres inside the half. On now to uh, Griffiths. Griffiths uh, runs and is going to be held uh, by uh, Duggan. 39 metres out from the Scone line. Out it goes to Gardner on the sixth. He's kicking and a uh, big kick. Going into full big. again. Going out in the full again. McGuire. So two, two uh, kicks that Gary will, uh, will try to forget very quickly, I'd say. Warren George on uh, the field again, Magoo. And who's come off? Brumby. No, no, Jason Matthews. Out now to Frost. Frost, uh, the usual run, but uh, the defence pretty good. Ryan there, Gardner there. Goodness me, Gardner's done a lot of work today. Now here's Pennell trying to uh, put uh, Scone in safe territory. He's taking it over halfway. Good run. Back to Madden. Out to Rando. Rando will probably have a go himself here. Slips the ball to uh, Everly. Everly is going to be very quickly collared and put down on his own side of halfway. He'll play the ball to Brown. Brown gets it away to Adams. Adams uh, hammered to the ground. Good tackle from Griffith uh, with Tyndale over the top. 14-6 the score as Re 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 Reynolds comes up with it and uh, will be tackled 38 metres out. And back it comes now to Madden. On to Brown. On to Rando. Rando puts the kick in on the sixth. It's picked up by King. King puts his head down and charges, but will be well tackled by Brown. 25 metres out of his own line. On to Newman. Newman pushes off one. No, it's going to be Brown hanging to him, and he'll play the ball 35 metres out. A good ground gainer anyway. On to Howard. Out it comes now to Griffith. Griffith gets to Richards. Can Richards do something? No, he's running to Adams and Richards. Has yeah, got a bump on that shoulder, I'd say. Yeah, Steve Adams uh, come over on the top of him on that shoulder, and that was the one in uh, question, Magoo, and he doesn't look good at all. I would say Steve Richards will probably come off for that. Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final, live from Scone Park. Well, it's been, a, I think, a very... It's been a very gallant uh, game from Steve Richards today, but that shoulder was never right. But he went until he got a very big jar on it then. And uh, he was still there uh, fighting for his side. Now King, King goes over the halfway mark. Tackle by Re Re Reynolds. Now down to uh, Howard. On it goes to uh, Warren. Warren George. Five metres into the uh, scone half. There'll be a kick coming here. Now they're going to run. Out it goes to Gardner. Gardner lobs it out to Tyndale. Tyndale's going to be held. Can't get the ball away. Turnover. That's a turnover. Yeah, it wasn't a good set of six there, Magoo, from Singleton. I know they were upset by the uh, injury of Steve Richards, which forced him off. Shane Brumby's on for him. But I, I would imagine that Gary Garner would have liked to have uh, pinned Scone right up inside their own tin. Unfortunately, Scone are now at the halfway line with uh, Adam Frost getting tackled. 
All right, and it's Frost getting up to play the ball. Duggan, Madden, Madden switches to the other side. It's gone past uh, the others, but uh, past Rando, picked up by Everly. Always a danger, puts the speed on, gets it away to Duggan. Duggan is knocked over, good tackle from Peter Sharp. And also uh, Simon Frost, now Rando on to Reynolds. Reynolds uh, uh, gets, slips the ball to Rando. Rando trying to tear his way away from the tackle of Bailey. Bailey hangs to him, puts him down. Back it comes to Fennell. He's going for the drop goal. <laughs> He's 40 metres out, Left. and it's going to go dead. And it'll come back to the 22 with Singleton to run it out. Yeah, uh, Skane, a bit interesting that, that Pennell had to kick 45 metres out from the line. They looked a bit uh, bewildered there, Skane. Uh, they, I think they, they looked like they ran out of ideas there after Rando got tackled on the blind side of the ruck. But... Uh, Look, there's, there's no second chance for Singleton from now on. They're going to have to really work hard to get the ball up inside Scones territory. Yeah, time's running out, but something tells me that uh, Singleton could do it from here. That at least, uh, no, that wasn't knocked on. It's come out to Howard. Howard Dove uh, slips the ball. It's a bad pass. King's going to pick it up. King's away down no, the wing. No, he's pulled it up, Magoo. It went forward, he said, on the ground. Well, well, that was a tight one. Yeah, it was nothing in it, Magoo. No, but, but as Shanice, he was in a better position than us. He said it yep. went forward along the ground. Well, I'm only just saying that Paul King would have yeah. been in under the oh, post. Oh, without doubt. Yes, and uh, that would have been a turnaround. Let's see what happens now. How long have we got to go? Nine. That's nine minutes. Nine Magoo. minutes. Plenty of time. Pennell standing at 5'8". He swallowed up in the tackle of Brumby, who uh, hits him over the top as Gardner goes underneath. Now, across it goes to Brown. Brown, a big pass. Out to Brad Adams. He tries to get around Tyndale. He gets back inside him, in fact, and is eventually uh, Tyndale who wrestles him to the ground and puts him down with the help of Simon Frost. Everly, Everly up in the line, trying to make that, that decisive burst, but he's pushed back in the tackle and will play at 25 metres out. Yeah. Madden's knocked it on. That's got to be a knock. And no, he's played on. Pen oh, no. pennell has got it. McGill, That's he's a shocker. Score. That is a shocker. Steve Adams is in the corner. Adams is over in the corner. Well, I'm not a... It's going to pick it up, and uh, that really makes it safe. 18 points to, to uh, six in... Uh, 18 points to eight in favour of Scone on the Power Credit Union scoreboard. And we'll play 25 metres out. That's not the knock. That's going to be a knock. And no, he's played on. Oh no. Pennell's got it, but now he's a shocker. Score. That is a shocker. Steve Adams is and in the corner. Adams is over in the corner. Well, I'm not a going to pick it up and uh, that really makes it safe. 18 points to uh, six in uh, 18 points to eight in favour of Scone on the Power Credit Union scoreboard. lead at the moment. Gary Gardner's questioning Peter Shennessy there. He wasn't happy uh, whatsoever with that decision, but the score's on the board now, and uh, unfortunately, I think Singleton can probably rue a couple of bits. And a big job ahead of the now. It, it mightn't be so bad if he misses this kick. They might still have a slight chance, but Skane is starting to smile. They've lost uh, their, uh, their camp in front of us here has uh, lost a bit of the tension, I'd say. <laughs> Yeah, and on the same take, McGoo, there's a dejected look on uh, most of the Singleton boys behind the try line. I think that they've uh, more or less accepted defeat now with only about seven minutes to go in the game. Well, I wouldn't if I was them at this stage. As here comes, uh, it's oh. a great kick from Reynolds, and it oh. goes over. Oh. What a kick. And oh. he's happy, the big man, Daffy Reynolds. The first time I've seen him smiling in about six weeks, McGoo. He's, he's pumped over four out of four today, I think, hasn't he? Oh, it's an awesome performance. And the big fella gave himself a clap too as he walk, walked up past us. That was a whopper, that one. Under pressure. Now, all Singleton can hope for is to is a 10 minutes extra each way. The crowd's starting to leave. A big crowd today too. And we can start to think about who's going to win this Gillette uh, watch for the Man of the Match Award. And uh, from our Tui's game here today, and uh, it comes out to uh, Scone running it out from their line. That was uh, Sutton pulled down about 24 metres out. Madden onto Pennell. There's a big run from Pennell. Uh, he's knocked over but gets up to go again. But uh, Wotham will hold him. 
12 meters short of the halfway mark. Uh, out it goes to uh, Brad Adams. Adams gets out of one. Can't get away from uh, from uh, Big Brumby. Six minutes to go. Scone running the clock down now as Brown puts up the kick. It's uh, a very high one. Uh, Newman was running up to get on the full. Couldn't get there, but it picked up by Frost. He runs strongly. And uh, now, Singleton, what a bit of magic. They've got the ball. They're a long way from the try line. But uh, uh, number 16 on the ball is... Uh, You'll have to get this. Is that Paul Daniels? Paul Daniels, Daniels I yeah, think. Yeah, Paul Daniels. They need someone to jump right out of the ground here and score underneath the post. Out it goes to uh, Stumpy Howard. Big pass. Finds Newman. Newman puts uh, the palm out. Gets it to Tyndale. He's dancing. He's, got, he's away. No, he's not away. He's got the uh, Sutton around his legs to pull him down. Now Bailey gets it to Howard. On it goes to Gardner. Gardner slips it away. A good, strong run there from... Uh, Warren George, but he's down uh, 32 metres out, and the pass, and then the tackle's running out. Uh, but uh, a bit of an opening coming up for Waltham. On it goes to Brumby. Oh, a shot over pass to Daniels. And it goes into That's touch. just about it, Magoo. Scrum to pack down. That pass would have uh, stuck, or would have been better, shall I say. Uh, he could have been well in the corner there, the winger. 20 metres out. Scrum to pack down. A bit of a delay uh, getting to it. That wasn't the sixth tackle, apparently. Now, as Madden feeds the scrum, the referee wants it to go down again. Oh, the lock didn't have his head in. That's petty, isn't it? And uh, back it comes now to uh, Brown. Brown's tackled 22 metres out. <laughs> I don't think Scone are going to try to do too much startling here at the moment. Rando. Uh, Rando driven oh, back, but gets away from them eventually. Three. And uh, still going. Uh, he's not uh, relaxing on his laurels at the moment. Daryl Rando, now Everly. Everly tries to sneak away through the middle, but it closes on him uh, with a good tackle from Peter Sharp and uh, Steve Wotham. Duggan to Reynolds on the blind. Reynolds brought down by Warren George. Stumpy Howard over the top. It's a long way for him to reach to. On it goes to Pennell. Hasn't he had a big game again? Pennell's over the halfway mark. Yep. Duggan gets it back to the kick from Brown. Brown's kick is deep and awkward for Frost, but he picks it up well. This kid's had a good game today too. Done nothing He's wrong. very strong. And uh, is knocked down about 30 metres out from the try line, uh, from his own try line, that is. Now uh, Jared Ryan trying to find the way through. Two minutes only to go. Three. Three minutes to go. Couldn't see his thumb. <laughs> On it goes to... Uh, Griffith, Griffith taking down nine metres out. Well, we want Sean Tyndale or someone like that to put a bit of magic on now. As uh, Gardner gets the pass away to George, hits him on the shoulder. It's going to be picked up by Frost. Scone in possession on the halfway line. And they're heading for their second premiership in a row. It's a repeat, Magoo. And out it goes to Madden. A big long one out to uh, Everly. Everly is tackled about a metre short of halfway by, uh, Fro uh, not by Frost at all, it's by Jared Ryan. Now it's Adams. Clinton Adams getting up to play the ball and uh, on to Reynolds. Reynolds just slides into the tackle of, uh, of Ryan and down he goes. Now Brown puts the step on. Warren George goes over the top to put him down. And Jared Ryan underneath, he's going to play oh, it back. A penalty, ball, then plays it back. And now plays the ball to Brad Adams. Bit of space for him? No. Good tackle uh, from uh, Julian Bailey. Defended well today, young Bailey. Now he's Madden. He's always the danger. And I think it's he's been knocked post. over. This will have to be a penalty, will it? No, it's hit the post, McGill. He's got a 20-metre 20 tap. Madden had a sudden stop. Uh, he kicked the ball and then ran over the top of a single player. I think he was looking for a penalty. Right. Now back uh, to the 22 for, for a tap. And time running down. Ryan. Ryan uh, tries hard, but... Uh, Edmonds is there to stop him, and he makes a couple of metres. Howard chips over the top. Tyndale's looking for it, but it's Steve Adams for Skane who takes it, and uh, he'll be tackled 10 metres inside the singleton half. One minute to go. So Skane on the verge of a record-breaking 21 first-grade premierships. 60 seconds or so away from that, as Rando gets the ball away to Frost. Frost, in a typical charge, is brought down in the tackle of Daniels. 
and he'll play the ball. 31 metres out, taking his time to get up to. He's pretty worn out. On it comes to Batten, on to Clinton Adams. He can't get away from Sharp, who has uh, been another to stand out for Singleton today. As Rando gets it, Rando puts the kick through. And oh, I think Brumby come in late. Deliberately kicked it dead, and there's a report coming from the touch judge. Yeah, Brumby come in late on him, Magoo. Bellity. And uh, this will be a penalty to Skane, and I think we're going to run the game out with uh, Reynolds trying for five out of five. Yeah, why not, McGill? He'll go for the 22, 22 uh, two points to eight uh, final score line. It's a penalty. They're only about five metres out. I wouldn't be surprised if they just run it. Nah, they're going to kick uh, it. They'll go for the kick. Dappy, that's, that's it. That's Full it. Time. The game's Doesn't over. Matter. Reynolds, will they take the kick? Uh, no, he wants the kick, Reynolds. He's saying, I want a kick. This boosts me for and so, against. <laughs> uh, stand by for the end of the grand final. It's not over yet. Uh, just tap it and feel golden, Daffy. <laughs> Singleton, uh, he's put it down. He's blocked he it down pretty quick. Didn't even need the sand, McGill. No he's sand. Dug a hole with his heel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Jared Ryan, oh, Simon Frost over there behind the post. He might pick this one up and score a try. There's no one over the other half of the field. Uh, he, uh, it, he nearly swung that in, too. That's it, McGill. Full time and... Uh, it is Scone who have taken out the grand final by uh, 20 points to eight uh, on the uh, Power Credit Union scoreboard. We'll be back in a moment uh, to... Uh Side. I'd like to congratulate Scone, also Singleton, and thank everybody for turning up and all the earlier win winners. I'll hand over to Greg Moy, our representative from Tui's, and let him make the pre presentation of the Tui show. Thank you, Rob. Uh, on behalf of Tui's, I'd like to congratulate both teams today. I'd also like to congratulate Group 21 for putting on a great competition this year and all the players that have played in this comp this year. Um, but it all comes back to one winner, and the winner this year was the Skane Thoroughbreds. Congratulations. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank uh, Sion for our great game today. We got off to a good start in the first half, and I was made hard. They come back and give us a hell of a fright. Thanks to my blokes, just dug in deep at the end, kept hanging in, hanging in. And I use the best, best bunch of blokes, best club I've ever played for. Thanks a lot, fellas. Couldn't ask for any more over the last two years. And thanks a lot to our supporters who are really getting behind us. If we could have Gary Garden to come up. Gary, 
Congratulations. Well done. Maybe next year, eh? <laughs> um, I'd just like to thank the 22 or 3 players that we, we had for the year. There was a gallant effort in defeat. We were doing a tough at half time, but they showed their true spirit and they, they come back and I'm proud of them, each and every one of you. To Scone, you're on a champion side. You proved that again today. And I hope you stick going for a couple more years yet. Thank you. <laughs> One last thing, I'd just like to thank Tui. Thanks very much. Your team up and uh, make the presentation of the Steve Adams. Andrew Brown. Dave Madden. Rossi Duggan. <laughs> Mick Reynolds. <laughs> Adam Frost. <laughs> Anthony Edmonds. Red Horn. Oh no. Clayton Adams. Jim Ray. Wayne Spinks. Thank you. 